In this video we are going to talk about 10 ways human augmentation will change the future. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates before commencing this video. What does human augmentation mean? Human augmentation is a term that describes technology that enhances human productivity or capability, or adds to the human body in some way. Modern technological breakthroughs have resulted in a wider range of implants and other technology that might be classified as human augmentation. Human enhancement is sometimes known as Human 2.0. Here are 10 new devices and technology that could improve your physical and mental well-being in the near future. Number 10. Enhanced Sexual Organs. In 2016, about 300,000 Americans had breast augmentation surgery, a 4% rise over the previous year and a 37% rise since 2000. But it isn't only boobs that are on the rise, practically all cosmetic operations are on the rise as well. Americans have clearly embraced this form of human enhancement with zeal. Who wouldn't want to attain the same results without putting silicon bags inside their bodies? Perhaps there is a better approach. Valkyrie Ice McGill, a transgender transhumanist, claimed in 2014 that by 2024, a complete functional gender transition would be achievable. Patients could get more natural-looking breast, buttock, and penis enlargements using the same technology that allows for comprehensive gender transformation. In a decade, it is possible that plastic surgeons could utilize body modeling software. This software would likely be developed by MMOs and VR to help you decide exactly the way that you want your appearance to become. From there it can then supervise the Da Vinci Auto Surgeon. This surgeon uses the body fat from the patient as well as skin cells. The purpose is to create a variety of programmable stem cells. From there, they can then perform untold numbers of microsurgeries to place these stem cells that will not have significant invasiveness on the patient. Number 9. Designer Babies. For the first time in history in 2016, the first three-parent baby was born. This was accomplished by taking the nucleus of one of the mother's eggs. The nucleus was then placed into a donor egg. For the father, his sperm were used to fertilize the donor egg. The Lee syndrome is found in the mother's mitochondrial DNA. With new tools like CRISPR SAS9 making gene editing a more precise science, it won't be long before it's widely used to avoid most heritable disorders. Why would you take a chance on your child's health when you might take proactive steps to assure his or her wellness? Especially if you've had your genome analyzed and discovered you're a carrier of harmful gene mutations like BRCA1 and BRCA2, which significantly increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Number 8. Brain-Computer Interfaces are a type of brain-computer interface. It is already the case that operating wheelchairs, drones, and advanced neuroprosthetic limbs can be done with the brain. Perhaps even more fantastically, Brain-computer interfaces have been deployed to enable communication from patients who face the ailment locked-in syndrome. Soon, we may be able to employ technology like this on a regular basis, not just to compensate for disabilities, but also to increase communication and sensory connection. Is it possible that we could communicate telepathically? Certainly, Mark Zuckerberg believes so. You'll be able to capture a thought, or what you're thinking or feeling in your head, in its ideal and flawless form and transfer it to the rest of the world in an understandable format. He famously declared in 2015, despite the fact that it was more than a decade away. Number 7. Smarter Drugs. Let's face it, people are drug addicts. Alcohol, coffee, and sugar are all old favorites. However, today's drugs are rudimentary in terms of both medicinal therapy and recreational or performance-enhancing compounds, Think Prozac for sadness and anxiety, or caffeine and amphetamines for alertness and focus. It's also difficult to tell the difference between favorable and negative effects. The good news is that a new generation of smarter, more effective medications may be accessible in the near future. Artificial intelligence and low-cost genome sequencing are already speeding up drug discovery, allowing for more effective individualized therapy. It's unsurprising that pharmaceutical corporations, governments, and tech companies are all eager to become involved in the medical big data game. Human Longevity Inc., which was led by pioneering scientist Craig Venter, of the Human Genome Project fame, until early 2017, is on schedule to finish an ambitious ambition to sequence 1 million human genomes by 2020. 
The company wants to quickly accelerate the development of individualized medications and treatment programs by mining this massive library of genetic and phenotypic lifestyle data. Number 6. 3D Printed Body Parts Patients have already been successfully implanted with lab-grown bladders and functional vaginals. But the prospect of 3D printing and implanting essential organs such as hearts, lungs, and kidneys is even more thrilling. Professor Martin Burkle, a surgeon at University College London, feels that this will happen soon, and that there will be substantial stepping stones in place. I predict it will be less than a decade before surgeons like myself start trialing personalized printed organs and tissues, he told the BBC in 2016. I can't wait, he said. It was speculated by The Economist that the first 3D printed livers and kidneys that are implantable could be released by 2023. Number 5. Smart Contact Lenses Samsung's Smart Contact Lens Patent Diagrams Samsung, Korea Intellectual Property Right Service Photo, KIPRIS, but hold on. The eye problem improves dramatically. Sony and Samsung both have patents on smart contact lens technology that allows users to record video by merely blinking. A product called Magic Leap is attempting to create a smart contact lens. This will be able to, to be paired with their new headgear. It is possible that both gadgets will be able to project images that are computer-generated and superimpose them onto environments in the real world. However, the employment of augmented reality technology isn't solely for entertainment purposes. The capacity to detect blood glucose levels in tears and inform diabetics when their blood sugar levels are dangerously low is another smart contact lens application under investigation at the XLab, previously Google X. In the next 10 years, how do you believe this will affect your life? Soon, you'll be able to walk about with a smartphone inside of you, with the screen showing in unexpected places. In action, miniaturization and dematerialization, how it should be. Number 4. Augmented Vision. It's possible to develop bionic eyes. They employ a camera installed on spectacles that sends information to electrodes implanted in the retina to cure hereditary and age-related macular degeneration AMD. Although this method of restoring vision is excellent, it still has flaws. Ocumetics Technology Corp. is working on another type of intraocular bionic lens, which is currently being examined in clinical studies. The product's purpose is to restore clear vision at all distances, without glasses or contact lenses, regardless of the patient's age. In an ideal world, three times greater than 2020 vision may be achieved, obviating the need for laser eye surgery. For many people, having perfect eyesight and not needing glasses would be a huge improvement. But why should we stop there? Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist, believes that we should strive toward superhuman vision and believes that we are currently well on our way. Number 3. Real-time language translation. Real-time language translation software has been around for a few years, but it hasn't been without problems. Recent advancements in machine learning, on the other hand, have significantly improved machine translation in recent years, to the point that we are now on the verge of attaining flawless real-time translation. The New York Times stated in late 2016 that Google's AI system has demonstrated overnight increases approximately comparable to the cumulative advances the old one had achieved over its entire existence. A number of companies, including Microsoft and Google, are scrambling to bring even better solutions to market as artificial intelligence enables a whole new level of precision in this field. Waverly Labs, a US-based company, has raised over $4 million and sold 22,000 prototype earphones that translate in real time while blocking out extraneous noise. At $299 a pair, one has to wonder if human translators would ever be able to make a living. Number 2. Exoskeletons. A cybernetic organism, according to the Terminator. Over a metal endoskeleton, living tissue. However, that was in 1984, and the concept was made up. In the 2020s, you might be a new type of cyborg, one who wears a metal exoskeleton over their biological meat sack. Why would you do something like that? An exoskeleton can boost your strength and endurance while also allowing you to carry more supplies on foot if you're in the military, especially if you're in a conflict zone. Carrying supplies is probably not a big deal if you're just an ordinary person although an exoskeleton may not be of much use to office employees, it could be extremely beneficial to manufacturing employees and manual laborers. Exoskeletons could assist workers who engage the correct muscles when they are lifting. 
This will make it easier to lift and move more weight in a safe manner. This could happen in the near future, before the impending robot job apocalypse. More importantly, if you have a spinal cord injury, an exoskeleton may be able to assist you in walking again. The device could also help elderly persons with mobility challenges. Exoskeletons, according to transhumanist politician Zoltan Istvan, could soon alter sport and other forms of recreation by allowing humans to attain new physical peaks and compete at a higher level. Number 1. RFID, Radio Frequency Identification, Chips. Although microchips are not new, the practice of implanting them in humans on a regular basis is. Biohackers are already chipping in droves, with many opting for do-it-yourself tattoo parlor operations. Thanks to minuscule radio frequency identification, RFID, chips that can be placed into the human body, it is possible that many people could make their lives radically more efficient. Perhaps in the future it will not be necessary to carry your keys or even your wallet because you have the chip implanted in your wrist that perform the same task. The chip can be used to open a door electronically at home or at work, as well as to make tap and go payments. You won't have to drag your keys to the beach or jog with them jingling in your pocket anymore. Meow Ludo Meow, an Australian biohacker chip implants, according to Meow, might be used to replace public transportation cards. Chipping could be utilized for identification and security on a nationwide basis in the near future. When identity theft and hacking are likely to be a concern, you won't have to worry about losing your passport while traveling. A chip inserted in the wrist of Zoltan Istvan, a transhumanist candidate for governor of California, allows him to open his front door. The chips are also suitable for use at work. New Fusion, a Belgian digital marketing agency, began implanting its staff in 2017. What do you think of our video? Please share your thoughts in the section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from me again, Please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.